Welcome to Toy Hill Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler. Last time I did a demo painting of a sunset over water, which I thought turned out very nicely. And I did have a definite plan on how I was going to do that, even though it was made up. This time I want to do an abstract and I want to do something completely different. I have had been thinking this morning all different ways to approach this and I'm not sure. What I'm going to do is use a water media technique that I've hardly used at all because I'm not a water media person. I am an oil painter, essentially, even though I am well versed in a lot of different mediums. What I'm going to do is something that watercolors like to do for texture and sometimes for clouds. They'll put the paint in and then go back into the paint, the very wet paint, with a tissue or something else. So I've got some tissues and some paper towels with a really nice pattern. And I'm just going to give this a try, see what happens. I was going to do it some very thin paint and then thicker. And I thought, well, you know, if I put the tissues into really thin, since I'm not well versed in this, it might not turn out very good at all. So I'm going to put out pat, put up patches of pretty good, pretty good amount of paint. And then I'm just going to go right into it with those different materials and see what happens. So I'll put in some red here. Also have my brushes because I have a feeling that this is not gonna be something I'm gonna be real happy with and just have a feeling. So I'm gonna do this. I gotta make sure it stays wet. This stuff dries pretty quick. It is acrylics, but I'm using it more like a watercolor. I gotta get a pretty big amount there because I think the pieces I've got are pretty big. Use a different color. And just see if something will happen. May not. May not work out at all. All right, I'm going to start with the paper towel. See if I can get something to happen with that print. Glad I got my brushes here because, like I said, I am not well versed in this, so it might not turn into anything. That looks pretty crummy. Didn't show up much at all. But it does have a texture. But I was hoping to really get the pattern going. But it's got a nice texture. So, let's see. Next time I'm going to try the tissue. So I'm going to put up some more paint. And try again. When I, the one time I did take watercolors, I thought this was a really tricky technique. And we took a little bit of watercolor instruction. I've mostly figured it out by myself the times that I've done it. All right, now what I'm going to do is try the tissue. And I'm going to bunch it up big time. Oh, that's interesting. I have a feeling this might turn into one of those suggestions paintings where something's going to show up and then I'm going to turn it into something. Okay, well, there's something else here. I'm trying to keep it pretty dark. Figured I wouldn't be doing a whole lot in terms of the space since I want to keep fooling around zillions of pieces of paper, pat towel and all. Figure it's going to be kind of blotchy. But don't know till you do it. Wanted to be something very expressive, but very, very uh, imaginative and just experimental. So I'm going to take a little tiny piece of one of these paper towels and press into that one. I really like the pattern on this. I probably have to just use a lot darker paint for this to really get that pattern. Ah, come off of there. Yeah. Not working very well, but I do like what's happening. <laughs> so that's always nice. Even though I'm not getting the pattern that I wanted, I am getting something that I really think is very pretty to look at, so that's good. I'll certainly have something for my portfolio. And I might be just leaving it like this. I might not go back into it a lot. Okay, probably should have gotten out a much darker color, but I didn't. I don't want to fool with that now. But I am going to put this in. Probably I'm not putting enough water. See, the thing with water media, as all watercolors know, you got to really practice and know about just how much water, how much paint, and you have to get used to the fact that it's just going to keep changing until it dries. 
even the flat wash I've noticed kind of changes too. So it's a very interesting medium. I don't not do it because fear of the difficulties. It's just I, I just don't like it nearly as much as oil paint. And you got to have it under glass. And as I've said before, I just don't want to put my stuff under glass. I love having my oil paintings open to the room, wherever it is. You can even touch it if you wanted to. Okay, I do regret not getting out some deep purple. I think that was probably would have been a good idea. I'm not going to take the time to do it though. I like the way these are overlapping. That's kind of interesting. I didn't expect that to make such interesting shapes. So I don't know if I'll, I don't think the tissue is doing much of anything. So I'm going to do another one with the paper towel. See, I've got one with a circular, a completely different circular pattern. It's not going to all show up, but maybe some of it will show up. Okay. Well, no, I'm not really getting anything. I bet you really can't see because you never can see it as well. Well, it's an interesting idea. I'm still liking the painting, so that's good. But I'm not really getting what I wanted to get. It's just not happening. Let's see, I'll try another one with some red. Yeah, I mean, you can see sort of the pattern, but not, not like I wanted it to come out. I like having, having the red and the yellow together. I think that's making some very nice textures. Getting interesting texture. It's certainly a whole lot more complicated than I just put the paint down. But I'm not getting any definite pattern. I got pink on that one. I didn't realize it. Okay. Oh well. Makes for a nice texture. I'm not sure if I want to do a whole lot more to it and or, or not with a brush. I can certainly go back into it and I can go over top of these too. But they need to dry. Uh, I don't like it right through here. The rest of it's kind of nice, but that's just too centered right through there. So I don't know. I should get a brush or not. <laughs> this is such an experimental work for me. It's just not what I normally do. And I, like I said, I was trying to figure out all morning, what am I going to do with this? And what happened while I was trying to figure it out, something that I couldn't believe, I was just about ready to go. Oh, there it is. Now I see what happened. I was just about ready to go and all of a sudden I saw that I had red paint all up and down my left arm and into my bathrobe. I'm one of those extremely cold people. I tell people, if we have the heat to suit me, everybody else is going to sweat. So what I like to do is wear a bathrobe, a nice cushy bathrobe over my clothes. It really helps. Okay, I'm going to do some things to this. It really works really well. So I got my bathrobe on and oh yeah, that helps. And it was, um, <laughs> had red paint off the sleeve and I just, like I just said, there it is. I just discovered I had some paint that I put in a place that was going to go back on my palette after I cleaned it, some oil paint, and I forgot to do that. So I put my hand in it. Now I know what happened. Okay, now I start to really like this. So it's like it was like a nice start with the textures, and now I'm getting a whole lot more complexity. So this is definitely going to be a what I call center of my mind painting, where you either like it for the way it looks or you don't, but you don't relate it to things you like to see or don't like to see. And I think it's coming along really nice. And I think those textural areas made it something to just add a little something to, which is a big surprise to me. Didn't think that was going to happen. I always like to go out on a limb at times. I think it's really, really good for artists to do that, to get out of their comfort zone, try something different. Boy, is this different. Oh shoot, I wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> I know that makes a lot of, doesn't make any sense, but that was too much yellow there. Took away from the real nice texture there. That's better. I, I like it. This is certainly different. I don't think I have anything in my portfolio, in my center of my mind paintings, that is like this. I'm just going to do a little more and I'm going to leave it and I'm not going to look for things even though, boy it's a real stretch, but I think I could probably find some shapes in there. 
if you looked at my work or looked at my portfolio, you know I do what I call suggestions paintings where I just paint abstractly and then if something shows up, I turn it into that. I have a lot of those. Be sure to check, oh, I didn't like that. Be sure to check my portfolio. The link is in the description. That's better. Still don't like it. I think I'm gonna, see that's always a problem. I know I've said this ad nauseum that when do you quit, especially this kind of painting, it's so easy to overwork this especially someone that doesn't normally do abstract paintings. If you've seen my work, you know that most of my work is what we call representational, pretty much the way things look, of the Blue Ridge and surrounding areas. Also do still life, some people, everything. I really like that. And even though it's not nearly complicated, as a lot of my center of my mind abstract paintings, I like it. And I think I'm just going to stop right there. And since I have so much to do today, I'm real pleased to know that I'm probably not going to go back into it again. So thank you so much for looking. Be sure to click on the link in, in case I do decide to change it a lot and see how it turned out. I also have links to my Etsy shop, to my website, and other sites with my work.